Hey, what's going on guys? Man, it's cold out. We had a nice little warm day of 40 degrees yesterday and uh, now it's back down into the tens and twenties for weather. So gotta love being up here in Michigan. So anyway, this video is basically going to be me talking. Uh, it's not gonna be anything cool or, you know, sexy or anything like that. So basically what I wanted to do is give you guys kind of an idea of what's coming for 2022. Uh, 2021 was a really weird year. Uh, for me, I ended up getting out of the Marine Corps, uh, all that kind of fun stuff, getting a new truck. Um, so there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, adventure stuff going on. I mean, with the build, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, a lot of the things came really quickly and I'm still waiting for a lot of things. So the truck hasn't really changed a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, did the whole bit with the grill and the rear bumper. But there hasn't really been a whole lot changed on the truck in a little while. And there also hasn't been a whole lot done with it. Yeah, I've, you know, went some trails here and there, but there hasn't really been any big trips. You can kind of count the UP one, I guess, but that was more of just like to go camping and not really a whole lot of off-roading there. So, trying to make up for that in 2022. Now... If you've been paying attention to the Instagram or Facebook pages, you know that my wife and I are expecting a kid here at the end of July. So that's going to be really interesting right in the summer season. Uh, we're both looking forward to it. It'll be fun to have another little, you know, little thing to adventure with us and the dogs and all that kind of fun. So it'll be fun. Now it means I can't do rear seat delete. So that idea is gone. Anywho. So... Basically with one of my jobs I have here in part of Rebel Outdoors is my spring and my fall are usually really, really packed with work, mainly the springtime. So unfortunately from now until I think May, my weekends are, are gone. There's, <laughs> it's all work. There's not going to be any play or fun. So, uh, you know, and I work a full-time job too. So I've been trying to figure out, okay, well, after that, you know, what do I have to do before the before the baby comes you know and of course that that period where my wife's gonna be like you better not leave the house or you're dead kind of thing um, what can I do after that so um, I guess we'll start with the truck so the truck has almost a full car suspension on it the only thing I'm waiting on still is the torsion sway bar which hopefully that gets here within the next couple weeks um, once that gets on I'm actually gonna be doing the install on that just to show you guys how easy that is uh, and we're going to be talking to the folks who installed the rest of this kit and talk about their experience with that. So other things that are going to be coming, um, still waiting for the full front bumper from AEV. You know, I have the bumper and the little, I don't know, bull bar, whatever you want to call that grill guard thing. Um, but they do have the full piece. They're still waiting on that. Um, on their website, it still says coming late of 2020. So, you know, whatever, I guess. But as far as the back of the truck goes, now the back of the truck is going to be getting a totally different makeover. No, I'm not taking the bed off and putting like a P-Core system, although that would be really cool. So P-Core, if you want, hit me up. But anywho, if you've been on some of my other adventures or paid attention to Facebook and all that kind of fun stuff, you'll know that I have a buddy here in Michigan, West Michigan, New Holland Overland. So... There are a couple of his products on this truck. I'll link his website down below. He's got a really cool sweet Tacoma. He's done a ton of custom stuff on it. Um, and we're going to be taking some ideas and some custom stuff. And we're going to be putting on this bad girl. Mainly in the rear end back there. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to share that news with you guys. Um, so with lighting... I decided I'm not going to do a ton of lights on this truck. Now with the two LP9s here... That really is like more than what you need for as far as like straight front end lighting. You know, an issue with light bars is an inclement weather, all that stuff that's lighting up right in your windshield there with, I mean, this is a darker color, but it's still a gloss color. Uh, they're reflecting off the hood. So that I decided not to run any lights, forward facing lights on the front. Now, of course, when the roof rack comes and all that kind of good stuff, we'll figure out there. Um, but basically just going to be adding ambers on the bumper, some ditch lights, and scene lights, and reverse chase lights, that kind of thing. Uh, so that'll be kind of interesting. Not a whole ton of lighting. Not, not that you really need a whole ton of lighting. You know, these, these LP9s, when it's clear out, man, they they push out some light. And these are the combos, so you also get a really widespread, and that's really nice too. 
as far as upcoming trips, I know there's some New Holland Overland events that I'll be going to here in Michigan. Me and Ripit Outdoors are gonna be going into the Manistee Forest and hopefully the UP. I'm trying to get a spot as a sponsor at the core event up in the UP. If you guys haven't checked that out, it's a really cool event. Um, and then we do have a Colorado, two Colorado trips in the works right now. One we're trying to do, we'll say late spring, early summer. Uh, that's going to be a trip where Caitlin and I go out and kind of, you know, explore Colorado. She knows that I really wanted to move there. And that's going to be kind of my time to be like, hey, look what we could go do all the, you know, all the time. So, and then afterwards in the fall time, myself, my dad, and Joey, Rip Outdoors, are trying to plan an elk hunt. So I'm definitely going to be taking you guys on that adventure. It's going to be, now normally when I go on hunts out there, um, it's all guided, you know, we camp in you know, 10 or a trailer or whatever, um, or a cabin. So basically what the plan is sounding like is we're gonna be taking this thing with the three of us, loading up with supplies, and it's just gonna be a self-guided, you know, find some state land and do our own thing there. So that's gonna be really fun. And I'm really hoping that Rip Outdoors can get an elk because he's never shot an elk before. So he gets first divs and I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, other than that, we're still trying to plan um, a bunch of different shooting content for those of you who have been missing out on that. I know ammo prices are crazy right now and just there's not a whole lot of extra time that I have to go out and make those content, but I am doing my best to try getting in there and getting some stuff done. Once the springtime is done, my weekends will pretty much be open again for me to go out and start making more content and stuff like that, going on trips, etc. Now, there has been some like weekend trips around this area and around uh, the lower peninsula here, northern lower peninsula, that myself and Rip Outdoors have been planning. So hopefully in the summertime, you know, when it's nice out, we'll be able to go do those. It'll be kind of, you know, just a weekend thing, not any crazy off-roading, although there are some places that we'll, we'll be able to have some fun and I'll definitely be bringing you guys along for all that kind of stuff. You know, more for the ROE Rip Outdoors ex expeditions. Yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> But other than that, guys, I just kind of want to be keeping you in the loop. I know I haven't been posting a whole lot on either the TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube for sure. Uh, kind of about what's going on, what we got planned, and uh, I think it'll be a fun year. I think once the springtime kind of dies down and I'm getting some free time again, there will definitely be a lot of content to be pushed out. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed, like this video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, also don't forget to... Go like us on Instagram and TikTok.